how was day one? Was this the type of juice you expected, you were hoping to see out of uh, the opening day? Yeah, day one went well. There was a lot of energy out of our guys. And, um, you know, it's always tough to spend so much time away from the facility, away from your teammates, but it was good to have everyone back out there today. And, uh, everyone looked good, sharp, so there's a lot to look forward to. How was your time off, Justin? It was good. It, it went by pretty fast, and um, you know, thankful to, to be back here and working out and, and lifting and doing all these things that you know, we love around here. Uh, just great to see all the teammates and staff, and uh, just excited to get back to work. Justin, what lessons were learned from the way you ended last season as a team? Uh, you know, you, you just have to compete and you have to execute when it matters most. And, you know, unfortunately, we fell short of that. But uh, I think we have the team and uh, definitely the pieces. And it's all about how we come together and, and work as a team. So uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to the challenge, of course. But uh, a lot of great guys here, for sure. What's it like coming to the camp uh, I think it's a major advantage for us having the same offense. Going into this camp and having the year of film to look back and uh, to kind of study and go through is, is so helpful. Uh, you know, we're miles ahead of where we were at this point last year, and so now we're, we're focusing on things that are maybe a little more tough and challenging for the tackle during an offense, but uh, I think we're, we're well where we need to be. Just I don't know, I'm, I'm still experiencing the young, you know, the young aspects of playing the NFL, so I've got a lot to learn, but uh, hopefully, a lot of is this the first time since high school you've had the same offense consecutive years? Uh, my junior and senior year at Oregon, we had the same offense. Uh, so that was last Justin, you've had a lot of personal success in your few years as a quarterback in the NFL. Do you feel pressure now to get some team success, get you guys to the playoff, get a win this year? There's no pressure on us. You know, the only pressure that you make is, is what you make up on yourself. And, uh, you know, I think as a team, we've, we've got the pieces, we've got the, the athletes and competitors. Um, as long as we're doing our best and, and we're asking each other what we want to do ourselves, um, you know, I, I don't think there's much more to be asking. Personally, I don't measure quarterbacks that way. I think it's a team game, and, and as long as we're playing the Chargers or any team, um, you know that's what matters most. It's an offense, defense, and special teams game that it goes into. It. Um, and you can definitely look at that, I think, but uh, I think for the most part, it's all about the team. Justin, what have you learned about Gerald Everett as a player since he joined up with you guys, and what do you think he's going to bring to the passing offense? Gerald's very athletic. Uh, he's a guy that's really able to create separation pretty easily. Um, and, and we've seen that over you know, a couple of months that we've been together. Just throwing with him and getting all the timing as, as you would with a receiver. Um, you know, he's an incredible athlete, and we've seen that in the, in the weight room and out on the field. So I'm looking forward to it. What are some things that you worked on in the offseason? Uh, a lot of it is footwork. Um, you know, I think both the drops, the tie ins, the routes, uh, three step, five step, seven step, and being smooth in your progression and going through all the reads. Lots of new faces on defense. I know it's early, but what's been your kind of impression on the roster on defense now versus last year? Um, you know, I, I thought the defense was really good last year, and so you know, the pieces they added this year, um, it's really exciting to watch. And, um, you know, the edge rush is going to be a little difficult to, to deal with sometimes during practice, um, but uh, it's a fun challenge. How do you see Zion fitting into your offense? Hopefully a right guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's, he's done an incredible job, and you know, he's picked up the offense really quickly, so uh, I'm looking forward to, to watching him progress and uh, continuing to mature. Can you talk about the competition between the offense and the defense? Uh, it's always competitive. You know, we've, we've done a good job in the past two seasons of, of keeping it competitive. And, uh, those guys on the defense, Derwin, led by Kyle Van Noy, you know, Khalil, they're always competitive. And, and they, Jason Jackson as well. Um, you know, they force us to be better. And as long as they're doing that, you know, we, we feel like we can help each other. Justin, with already setting a touchdown record, touchdown record and a yardage record for the Chargers, what's your personal goal for this year? Personal goal is just to be the best quarterback and teammate that I can be. Um, I, I try not to look too much into statistics. I think that can kind of skew or throw you off from what you're trying to accomplish. But as long as I'm working hard and doing the right things on and off the field, um, I think I'm going to change. How did it feel about like hearing the fans cheer your name in the background? They were cheering for Khalil Mack, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Justin. Justin. Thank you. Thank you.